Hey, hey, everybody. How are you guys? I hope you guys are good. Um, okay, so let's go over a few things, shall we? All right, now, I watched uh, you back to Jeff's video this morning. Um, I agreed with a lot of what he said. Not everything, but some of the things. Uh, most of the things, actually. But, um, I... I, the only thing I, I mean, about Sammy being older or not, being 24, right? The only thing that, I mean, there was a lot of weird things about that graduation video, hers. Um, a, was she was the only one in it. Mags wasn't in it, and they they graduated together, so that's pretty weird, right? Uh, Mags' name was never called in that video, and I watched it a couple of times. Um... So it was just Sammy in there. <clears throat> now, in California, I'll put it up on the screen, um, the maximum age you can be in school is 21. 21. And they do that for um, reasons like as adults being in the building with minors and, and stuff like that. Like, so they, they do that for a reason. So I don't know how... Legally, she could be in school. Now, if she's not in school, then that whole video was set up if she is older than she is. Which means that whole graduation video would have had to have been, you know, like, made up. Okay. So, I don't know. That's the only thing. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. But, anyway, so let's get into some other stuff. Um... Something is off about Forest Charter's graduation, too. Now, I'm going to tell you. They have a 2020 graduation video on YouTube. They have a 2021 graduation video on YouTube. But they do not have a 2022 graduation video. Which I think is super, super weird. Super weird, right? Um, I, I, I can't quite figure out why that is. But there isn't one. So, that's just, that just stands out to me. That's super strange. Now, the place where Kylie worked, the tea place, what's it called, chai tea or something like that. Um, if you go, I went on their Facebook page, and I scrolled through their entire Facebook page all the way down to their first posts, right? Okay. Now, they have pictures of all, uh, all the employees there. They have pictures of customers. They got pictures, tons and tons of pictures on there. But I think it's weird that there's not one picture of Kylie on there. And that and she worked there. Right? That is weird. That is super strange. It's like, she, it's like she's being erased from everybody's life. It's like if they did have pictures on there prior of her, there's none. And I find that super strange. Okay? Especially seeing as how they looked so upset during that interview that they had. Um, so that's just another really freaking bizarre thing in this case. Um, but it's like, it's like when I, I always said this, when I went through the Lost Trail Lodges, um, Facebook the first time, I was like blown away because I was like, this is so odd. There's like maybe like six pictures of Kylie on there throughout the years. So it's, I, I, that is so weird because there's so many pictures of like the dog, the family dog and like the little boy, but there's just very few pictures of Kylie on there. And I find that weird. And I've said that from the beginning, that is super weird, right? Because especially now that she's gone, you think they would cherish these pictures they they had right so I'm saying if Chai if the place where she worked did previously have pictures on there of her why would they be gone why they would want to keep them right so it's just super strange to me um let me know what you guys think down in the comments below because I find it weird um it's like I said it's like she is literally being erased 
it, 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 it's, it's in everybody's life. It's so insane to me. Okay. Now, you know what else is crazy? Is that uh, Stephan, uh, Stephan Cuneo, he did attend Forest Charter, and he graduated in 2020. I, I think it's, I just think it's weird that a graduation thing came out with Jagger's graduation. A thing came out with Sammy's graduation. But we never saw, a, like, Mags's graduation. Never saw Kylie's graduation. Never saw Kate's graduation. And supposedly they all just graduated. So I think that's a little weird. Um, super weird. So... <laughs> Those are just some of the things that uh, popped into my head and I wanted to talk to you guys about. Okay, now, I will say, and I have said this from the beginning, I believe 100% that Sammy did this to Kylie, okay? I believe she was the main person, and I don't care what anybody else says. They're like, oh, well, you look into her, and you look into her, and you can't find anything in her past. Okay, that doesn't mean anything, right? There's never anything to find until there is something to find, right? So anybody who, like, say there's a person that grows up and kills their neighbor, right? You look in their life, you're like, well, there was nothing that pointed to that. It, no shit. Just because you're not finding anything doesn't mean that the person is not guilty, Right? You guys see what I'm saying here? Because people want to go off of that, and I think that is totally insane. They're like, just because, they're like, people have dug. People have dug into these kids, and you can't find anything. Just because you can't find anything doesn't mean there's not something there. Okay? That's just how I feel. Right? Um, so I wanted to get that out there. I believe that Sammy knew exactly what was going to happen to Kylie. And I think that she was a part of it. And that's just my opinion. It's the gut feeling I've had since the very, very beginning. And people can agree with me or disagree with me, but that's just how I feel. Now, I am sure that, what did I say before? I said it was, I believe it was like 10 and under. There was like 10 people and under that this whatever happened to Kylie took place with. That's the amount of people, my guess. That's my feeling, okay? But I believe that everybody else knew about it. Her mother, the town, the community, the LE, I believe they all knew. And listen, that's that's just where I'm at. That's what I feel. That's what I have to go with, you know? Um, now, you know, earlier in that video, um, the guy made a very good point that somebody had to have tipped off the FBI to come there because there was no Amber Alert issued, right? So somebody did tip off the FBI about the situation and about Kylie's car being where it was. Okay, I believe that that would make sense because they did not issue an Amber Alert, which is usually when the FBI comes in, right? So that's that's weird, right? Anyway, um, I wanted to talk about that, and then so listen, we the facts are that we don't know what happened to her and when. It happened to her. That's still the bottom line. The bottom line is, listen, we are all, there's a whole bunch of us that are just trying to figure out the truth, trying to get the truth, trying to figure out what happened to Kylie. All right? That's what everybody's doing in their, and they're all go, we're all going about it in our own ways. So, you know, we all think different things. We all have different opinions about things, and that's fine. As long as we're all just digging for the truth. As long as we're all, our motive is trying to figure out the truth and really trying to find out what happened, then that's all good, right? That That's how it's supposed to be. One of us, somebody will come up with the answers, right? Um, so I just wanted to say that. I'm not 
bashing anybody else's point of view. I'm just putting mine out there, okay? So, I just wanted to make that clear with people. Um, so, yeah. I let me guy let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Um, I think I think there's just a lot of weird things that if we could answer some of these things, you know, we could maybe get somewhere. We could figure out but to not focus on these things, it's like that this um clip I'm or this picture I'm gonna show you up here. Um I'll put it up here and it says, listen, it's from Jagger. And it says that people need to uh, celebrate Kylie as a human being and not focus on all of the negative stuff. And it's like, basically he's saying, we need to just move on with our lives and not worry about all that stuff. Not worry about all the questions. Not worrying about getting answers. Well, see, that's the problem. These people acting the way they're acting is the reason that they are getting called out. Okay? It's just like this Megan chick who wanted to call me out in Squirrel on Fire's video the other day talking about, yes, yeah, CNY, I know what you said about me. I heard the things you said about me in these teens and you don't even live here and blah, 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 blah. You know what? <laughs> you put yourself in this investigation. You inserted yourself by coming out on YouTube and wanting to say that you knew something about something and you wanted to spew your story. And then you got mad and hurt feelings when people started questioning you about the shit that you said. And, and that's my problem? No, that's me doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Listen, these teens, Samantha put herself where she is at. You want to talk about people going after them and attacking them? It's because of the shit that they said. They put them, she put herself in the front of this investigation. Wanting to be the spokesperson. Wanting to say she was the last one to be seen. Wanting to tell the story that she told. Wanting to tell all them lies. That was her. So yeah, I'm going after that. Yeah, other people are going to go after that. Because that's what she asked for when she put herself out there. You did the same thing. When you put yourself out saying you knew something, saying you knew people, in this case, wanting to come out and defend those teens, which, by the way, I had no problem telling you in the chat that... Um, that you came out and were defending those teens... You were the, just another person that came out and your story was defending those teens, say, painting the picture of Kylie being this wild party girl and defending those teens for what happened. You came out and you said what you said. So yeah, expect people to question that. Expect people to go after what you say. Okay? You were just another person in my eyes, that came out defending those teens, no one has come out from that town and spoke up for Kylie. Not one person. Everybody that we have heard from that said that they knew something, that said that they were saw Kylie, that said that they were there, every single one of them painted the picture that she was drunk, out of her mind, inebriated, right? That was the story. Could barely walk. And that there were no teens to blame. That was y'all's, that was everybody's story. She just drove in, she just did it, it was an accident. She got drunk, drove. Okay? So yeah, when I see you up there talking, I am going to say and speak my mind. That's just how it is. You can't attack people, you can't be mad at people and be talking about other people when you did, you put yourself in that position, just like Sammy put herself in the position that she is in. So I just wanted to say that, okay? Um, anyway, I'm going to um, end this. I hope you guys like this video. Please like it. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. 
And if you want to join the family and become a member, the link is down in the description below. And you guys know the deal. Anybody that wants to donate to the channel, all the links are down in the description below. So, please, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up, please. And, oh, please share this video. It really helps the channel out. Um, so stay strong, stay healthy, stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions, and we might just figure this out. All right, you guys. Bye.